Hey, Lindsay, how are you? Awesome, Michelle. How's everything going? I don't know about you, but I'm craving eggs right now. You are. <laughs> Lindsay, how do you like your eggs? Oh my gosh, I like my eggs nice and runny. Yeah? Yeah, a lot of people don't like runny eggs. They like scrambled eggs. But I like my eggs, obviously, if it's going to be runny, like it has to be hot. Like it can't be cool. Runny, right. but like I said, a little bit of runniness is great. Yes. Yeah, I agree. I, I like that as well. Um, mm-hmm. Do you, So we were just talking before we started the episode, guys. So, Lindsay, you said you eat eggs mostly on the weekends, right? Yeah, I like to order. My favorite way to order eggs is definitely um, through like a, a sandwich. Like uh, when I was on the East Coast, it was often a bagel egg and cheese sandwich. I can't find that as much out here, actually. Out here you find more. Oh yeah. No, you find more breakfast burritos. So yeah, it's hard to find a bagel egg and cheese sandwich, but that is my favorite or any kind of bread, like a, um, like a nice, uh, sourdough. Sourdough is good. So good. Yes. What about you? How do you like to take your eggs? Um, I usually have them like, yeah, over, over easy or, Mm -hmm. you know, like a fried egg basically, but also kind of runny. I like that. Um, but I usually have them in the morning with a wrap and a little bit of fruit and some nuts and. Oh, nice. High protein. Well balanced. Yeah. High, high protein. (laughs) (laughs) I bet some of our listeners are eating eggs right now because I know some of you guys like to listen to All Ears English when you eat breakfast. So enjoy your eggs. And while you're at it, hit follow on this podcast, right, Michelle? (laughs) Please do while you're at it. If you haven't hit follow on the podcast yet, please do so because guys, you can miss out if you are not following us. Yeah, you want to miss out. No, you don't want to miss out. You want to hang out with Lindsay and Michelle four days a week. Aubrey's on here too a few times a week. So we're all here having a great time. If you love to consume podcasts on YouTube, you have a great opportunity to check out this episode and other ones on YouTube. So go over to YouTube, type in All Ears English, and this episode will be there. All right. I love it. So guys, if you couldn't guess, today we're talking about eggs. So since they are such a breakfast staple, it's good to know how to order them just the way you like them. Right, Mm -hmm. Lindsay? Yeah, I mean, this shows, I guess sometimes you might have a business breakfast, but it's more rare. You know, breakfast is more for you and a partner or you and a friend, but it's nice to be able to order things as you like it, right? This is the sign of being comfortable in a new country or in a business trip or a travel, like a tourism trip, being comfortable with, you know, ordering things as you like them, not as, not as the, not in the easiest way, right? Right, right, right. That's true. You want to be able to get what you actually want. So we want to give you the language to say that because eggs are very versatile. There's yeah, tons there's a of lot different, of yeah. tons of different ways you can order eggs. And guys, there were even some that I didn't include in this because there were just too many, too many there's eggs. A ton, and that, that makes me wonder actually for our listeners. Are there just as many ways in their languages? I guess so, right? Or maybe if eggs aren't commonly eaten in different cultures, Mm -hmm. there wouldn't be a lot of different ways. But a lot of cultures consume eggs. They're cheap, um, they're high protein, and they're somewhat, they're healthy. They're organic, you know, they're healthy, so... Yay eggs. Yay eggs. <laughs> just realized I had another microphone sneaking into my view. Michelle, you have microphones coming out of the woodwork. What's going on? I don't know how long it's been there, but I think just, I think it just swung in. Sorry. She takes her job very seriously. Uh, microphones, microphones everywhere. Yes. Um, okay, so here we go. So guys, we also have other episodes about food. There are even more than this, but what I wanted to choose a couple. So number 1403 was grab a slice and learn pizza vocabulary in the U.S., so pizza. Yeah. And I remember when we did that one and we talked about, you know, in New York City, you know, people grab a slice and they get the huge pizza and fold it over and walk, walk home, walk to the subway. It's a very New York experience. All right, Michelle? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So awesome. And what was the other episode that we had? Okay. That was 706. What do typical Americans eat at home? So go check out that episode to find out the answer. <laughs> Love it. Okay. So let's let's get cracking <laughs> let's get oh my gosh michelle did you plan that pun i didn't i didn't you're good you're good with puns you're really good with. <laughs> i gotta you. be honest i would never have thought of that <laughs> it's so good well, that, but guys just to explain the joke let's get cracking is something that you can say to like say let's get started but then there's also to crack an egg crack an so. egg 
<laughs> so good. Well, joke. it made me laugh. So that's all that matters, good. right? Yeah. That, well, what can I? What can I tell you? Um. <laughs> so, all right, here we go. So, first one, scrambled. What are scrambled eggs, Lindsay? Well, in my mind, this is kind of the most standard way that people yeah. take their eggs, right? So it's everything's all mixed up in there in the pan, right? Very common at oh yeah, hotel buffets with varying levels of kind of like wetness and dryness. Yeah. It just, it depends, right? It depends on where you're eating. Watery, yeah, <laughs> they can be watery. Or with cheese, lots of cheese. Ooh, I like that. I will have to say, I, I love cheese and eggs together. Mm, yeah, me it. too, me too. <laughs> Hard boiled egg, next one, Hard Michelle. Hard boiled what is that? eggs. So that's when you boil them and then you take the shell off. So they're just, it's kind of a whole egg, but I, I so I love hard boiled eggs actually, but I don't have we them do. very often because they're not that easy to make. And when I do have have them I usually only eat the whites I don't really like the like you don't like the yolk of an egg I oh. do like that not not when it's hard not when it's hard because it's, okay, it's just dry like I don't okay. really get that I find the whole egg white thing other than I, I get what you're what you mean about it is kind of dry you get a pass for that but the whole egg Thank white you. thing no I just can't do it when it <laughs> I just I need the yolk especially when you know when the eggs are scrambled or other ways I just get bored with just egg whites alone. I know it's healthier, but I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> no, it's really just for that context. Every once in a while, if I'm getting an omelet, I'll say, oh, an egg white omelet, but like very yeah. rarely. Rarely. Yeah. Hard boiled eggs are kind of a love it or hate it thing. People feel very strongly about their, you know, their thoughts on hard boiled eggs, I think. <laughs> yeah, I think that's true. I think that's true. For me, it's mostly annoying to make. You can actually buy them just in a bag like already made but oh, I okay i really do that um mm. what's another way okay next one is sunny side up this is really native and natural vocabulary here so this is where the yolk is up um and it might be a little bit runny mm -hmm. but a lot of these are similar like isn't sunny yes. side up a lot like over easy or medium I think so so i i learned a bit about eggs because i real <laughs> i realized that i'm a little confused about i, I am too well that's why right? we're doing this episode to be i've well, i've always been, that's why i just say i like them runny <laughs> right i know and it, well so i think what it is is like these ones are all like fried eggs right like so sunny okay. side up it's like you you put them in a pan and mm -hmm. um you don't yeah, the, mix it up it just yeah right right you just put the egg in the, that's how I mostly have it so okay I actually was looking at a website some egg website I can't remember the name to get some help <laughs> we need some help clearly and our listeners definitely could use some help here we need to know so what's right. the difference then between sunny side okay. up and over easy okay so I think what it is a sunny side up is technically you just leave it and you don't flip it okay okay I think I think okay I but think. over easy is, is you flip it over mm -hmm. and then you can have it over easy where it's still runny it's still kind of runny but it's like fried runny it's like you flipped it over but it's still runny but medium is cooked a little longer and then hard is when it's like you know just like a fried egg where there's no runniness i see okay because i've always been a little confused between medium and over easy and sunny side up side up but uh unless no, good mm -hmm. unless unless you don't flip it and it's just about how how like how long you cook it for but I think it's including the flip yeah if you want to be really safe and you don't want to get anything runny just ask for scrambled right you can't go wrong that is yeah. the most standard way to do it but then right. there's omelet right you want your you want an omelet which is kind of a totally different meal right it's not the same right. as just ordering two eggs right Michelle right right exactly uh, yeah right so I I actually have a friend who <laughs> we were this was it was such a joke we were at a restaurant and the, it says like oh two eggs any style <laughs> and said omelet style yes no what that doesn't yeah, make any said. sense okay. No. okay so let's talk about that and then and then there was kind of like a discussion with the waitress and there was some debate because then there was a separate menu where you would you could order a, a separate menu item of just ordering an omelet so let, right. let's talk about let's talk about that Lindsay. so why did you kind of say well what omelet well, it's totally separate. When I think of an omelet, I mean, I guess you could technically right? make an omelet <laughs> with, with just an egg, but it normally it has a lot more in it, like cheese and vegetables right. and other things, right? So right. I think I would also be really confused if I were that server. Oh God, I feel bad for the server. <laughs> yeah, it, well, it, we, we would not let my friend hear the end of it. He was I like, bet. Well, that's how I, well, he's like, well, how do you want your like, eggs? Like, what did he say? Omelet? Yeah, he said no. he wants it in an omelet style. Mm, no, not where I come from. <laughs> <laughs> 
So guys, in our opinion, it's totally different. Don't answer how do you like your eggs or how do you want your eggs by saying omelet. Avoid that. <laughs> oh my God. I am going to tell him to listen to this episode. <laughs> It was that, but yeah, there's something about it because that's just, it's a different thing. Like an omelet is a different thing. It's a different meal. It's usually on a separate section of the menu. Right. right Michelle, like usually yeah. there's a whole page or two, just eggs. Right. Yeah. And then there's actually usually a full page on different kinds of omelets yeah. you could order. Right. Che- oh. you know, cheese and mushroom or spinach or who knows what. Right. Yeah. Um, What's so- a frittata, by the way? Okay, so a frittata. Oh, you never had a frittata? I don't know. I don't know if I have. <laughs> all, all I remember is that commercial where she's like, my frittata. Right? <laughs> I don't remember. That. <laughs> okay, never mind. Never mind. All right. My frittata. <laughs> I have to look into that. Yeah. Um, well, apparently, so I was also looking into the difference between an omelet and a frittata. I think a frittata is more folded, like an okay. omelet, but folded. Yeah, but, and uh, isn't it a bit drier? Kind of like just not well, as. I th- I I think of an of a frittata is almost more like a quiche. Yeah, like, it's like more like a little bit of a cake, like a yes, it's thicker yes. than an omelet. Mm-hmm. So I guess that would make sense if what I looked up said you fold it. That does make sense. I like quiche. Do you like quiche? I do like quiche. Yeah, yummy. Mm. <laughs> um, but guys, there are tons of other ways you can have your eggs. So we went over some of the basics. Um, so, but let's say that you are at a restaurant and you, like we said, you would see something on the menu like two eggs, any style, right? Right. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> and then you might hear the waiter or waitress say something like, oh, how do you like your eggs or how do you want your eggs? So common, guys. We want to be ready for this moment. You are definitely going to get this question. Yeah. So let's do a role play to okay. show our listeners how to do it. Here we let's go. Let's do it. Okay. So I'll have the breakfast special. All right. Great. Do you want sausage or bacon? Sausage. And how do you like your eggs? I'll have them sunny side up. Great. All right. Pretty straightforward and easy, right? Exactly. Yes. And then I made a note about the <clears throat> omelet or the frittata would be likely listed in a separate section. <laughs> yeah, I think so. With the quiche, right? <laughs> right, right. With the quiche. And with then the quiche. We, we already kind of talked about this egg whites, right? Like, mm. so sometimes somebody might want maybe they're health conscious or whatever. Um, yeah. They might. I mean, although eggs are healthy, it's just not like a million of them, right? I don't know. Yeah. No, I, I think I, I think eggs are pretty healthy. I mean, the thing I have with egg whites is it feels like you you don't get any food when you cut out mm. the the yolk. Like you it's get true. The, yeah. Yeah. It's the yolk very is scant. where like yeah, I feel like the yolk is where most of the nutrition is. It feels like it to me, but I don't know. I'm not a nutritionist. I don't know. I'm not a dietitian. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, but typically it's funny though because an egg white omelet is usually extra, right? Haven't you seen that on menus where it's like egg white, mm. uh, you know, egg white substitute right. egg whites for two dollars more or something. <laughs> <laughs> right. But you're actually getting less food. Right. You're taking out something, but it's more expensive. Yeah. yeah Isn't yeah. that funny? I that guess because they weird. have to do the whole extra work. Thing right. Take with the, the thing eggs. Out. I don't right. know if you're looking at me right now, Lindsay, but I yeah, I know what you mean. I've seen it. They do that thing. I don't know how to do it, but they do I, it. I'm t- I've tried and it's hard. <laughs> OK, nice. I love it. I love it. Yeah. OK. What else, Michelle? What else do we need to know? Well, I mean, and then if you are ordering an omelet, you have to decide what you want in it. Sometimes they might say, like, you know, add your items. It might be a certain amount of money for each, uh, uh, like, item. Or they might have specific right. kinds of omelet, like Tex-Mex omelet or, you know, meat lover's omelet or, you know, broccoli and cheese omelet, stuff like that. Right. I think it would be common on a menu, guys, at a diner or any uh, breakfast place in the United States to see something like build your own, like omelets, build, build your, your own. own. Is what you want to see. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. right. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Build your own. So if you were going to build your own omelet, what do you like to put on it? Oh, I would definitely go for cheese, spinach. I love a little greens in the morning sometimes. And um, like mushrooms, sauteed mushrooms. I love that. Mm. Cheese, spinach, and mushrooms, but lots of cheese, Michelle. Which kind of cheese? Oh, any kind. Mostly cheddar. I think cheddar goes so nicely with eggs. Cheddar yeah. and eggs. Oh, mm. Love it. But I would take like fancier cheeses, Gruyere or something too. Oh. I don't discriminate when it comes to cheese, Michelle. Good. Good. <laughs> what about That's you? That's like a quote I want to put on a poster yeah. <laughs> that, with your face on it. It's I don't a know. Quote. <laughs> Lindsay McMahon, 2022. I don't discriminate against When it comes to cheese. <laughs> when it comes to cheese, yes. Uh, what about me? Yeah, I also like cheddar cheese, maybe even maybe provolone, maybe Swiss. Um, and I like it. 
I don't know. I just say dump a whole bunch of stuff in there, like any vegetable. Like I like even onions. Oh um, yeah, mm. yeah. Um, I could do broccoli, mushrooms for sure. Um, mm-hmm. so I love everything. Ooh, what about sweet potatoes? Have you ever put sweet potatoes in a? Oh, that could be interesting. I haven't. Have you? I if... No, I haven't. But I'm thinking oh. it could be good. Maybe. I, I don't know. It would be good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Do we have one more role play for our listeners? Let's do one more egg role play. Okay. So in this case, we're talking about ordering an omelet, right, Michelle? Now we're all so... talking about omelets. Okay. All right. I'll have the three egg omelet. Oh, but can I get egg whites? Yes, definitely. Great. Uh, well, what do you want on your omelet? I'll have mushrooms, tomatoes, cheese, and spinach. Huh. <laughs> what kind of cheese? Well, what kind do you have? Swiss cheddar or Munster? I'll go with Swiss. Great. Coming right up. Oh, man. Swiss is the one cheese that I just can't really get on board with. It, I like every other kind of cheese on earth. Swiss has a weird taste to me. So I, I just know. bought Swiss cheese. Um... And I don't know. I think I'm having, like, I'm falling in love with it again. Oh, you're coming back to Swiss. Okay, that works. I don't yeah. know. I just hmm. said, I, I, I have Swiss and cheddar in, in my fridge and, and mozzarella. Oh, man. I would go for lots the cheddar. Lots of cheese. <laughs> lots of cheese. Yeah. Gotta love cheese. If you like cheese, go to Vermont. In the United States, obviously go to France if you love cheese. But mm. in the U.S., go to Vermont. It's a great place to find really good cheese. So, yeah. Michelle, what's the takeaway for our listeners here? Should we go through this or yes. should we? Let's do it. Okay. Let's go through it real quick. Yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, uh, oh, well, I guess we were more. <laughs> well, I said, what? well, actually, I guess we kind of just added on our, this is kind of a new role play. It wasn't yeah, specifically. This is a, new, it, mm-hmm. a new extension role play. Just the idea and, of, I think today's episode, Michelle, is more about being ready for what yes. your waitress is going to ask you, right? Yes. When you're at that diner, right? Right, right, right. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, like, oh, can I... Uh, you order the uh, the three head omelet. I said, "What do you want on your omelet? What kind mm-hmm. of cheese?" And then you said, "What kind do you have?" I'll go with Swiss. Great, right? So yeah, the I whole think exchange. And that one would be a good bonus for our listeners I'll today. Go I'll go with. I love that one. Great bonus. That'll probably be in the app, right? The iOS or Android app. To go with something again is a creative way to say, "I'm choosing this. This is what I want." Right, Michelle? Mm-hmm. Do you say that a lot? I'll go with. Yeah, I think that's a. I think it's kind of a cool, casual way to request something, order to order something. Yeah, and it's good to keep it casual. It's just breakfast. I know. Let's be casual. Let's have fun. Let's just enjoy. Breakfast. Let's be polite. You know, just I'll go with this. I'll go with that. It's easy. Good stuff. Yeah, for sure. All right, Michelle. What's the takeaway for our listeners? Well, guys, if you like eggs, you have come to the right place. Now you know how to order different kinds of eggs the way that you like them you can order omelets you can order sunny side up you know that you know about our taste in eggs it's been a very (laughs) eggy episode uh and we've cracked a lot of jokes oh michelle you're good you're uh, good (laughs) um and yeah so try this out next time you go out for breakfast or any meal because you can have eggs many times of the day yeah such a common staple in the american diet guys and give it a try and hit follow on this podcast if you love all ears english all right michelle thanks for hanging out as always i'll see you very soon all right bye Lindsay. this is fun bye take care bye